Hey y'all, so what's up? So today I'm gonna be getting on a little topic because I've been a survivor, I feel. I've recovered from this and it's just been a journey, you know, from my pizza face life, okay? So right now, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to get rid of your pimples the actual way, the real way. Because what, at a certain point in my life, I was like you guys. I was on YouTube searching up ways to get rid of my pimples, to get them all gone, to see, to literally become a new person, okay? It's not even a joke. Right now, I have a pimple here. I don't know if you guys can see. And that's why I'm making this video because I've been sort of neglecting my rules and I just want to, you know, make a video on it so y'all can learn because y'all don't want to be looking like a trash bag when you go to school do you back to school's coming right after going on after going on youtube for a long time like literally nothing works because all these beauty gurus all these people have such nice perfect skin living such a good life <laughs> it doesn't work okay for honestly i'm not even lying it's just because they've been blessed with good genetics good skin like tracy calm down we're not all like you so so so, so, what you want to do is, number one, don't touch your face. Like, I cannot stress this enough. Do not touch your face. Like, touching your face literally gets all the dirt, all the stuff. Like, you don't even know what's going on around you on your face, okay? Like, give me an example. I go to school, I go to biology class, and guess what? We have pig dissections. They're gross, but we still do. We have frog dissections. Although they clean everything up, they touch every single thing. People go in there and they don't know, they touch it, and then they touch their face. Guess what you have? Pig guts on your face. Get over it. You don't know what's around you, so don't touch your face, or all those germs that all go to your face, go inside, and that's what causes your pimples, because your body is trying to stop those bacteria from spreading into your skin, so um, that's why you get like pus, because that's literally Red, white blood cells which actually fight off all the bacteria and that's what's causing a pimple number two okay this one is like if you're not doing this then I'm sorry like why are you even watching this video you have to wash your face okay you have to wash your face in the morning and you have to wash your face at night okay um the reason is because you know people are just going crazy like the reason is your pores are all getting clogged pores are like you know your hair where it's growing that's where a pimple is because what happens is it gets clogged with all this dirt and just starts building, building, building until it becomes a big ball on your face and you look like you just got extra pepperoni on. So what you want to do is you want to keep washing, you want to keep doing all that, okay? Got it? So what I use for my face usually, right now at least, is um this one. It is, okay, wow, okay, well my camera is not going to focus, I'll just tell you what it is from here. Still not doing it. It's called um, Thursday Plantation uh, Tea Tree Face Wash Foam. So first of all, you don't need some fancy foam like this one. You don't need a, a next level um, face wash. Number one thing I would say, don't use bar soap on your face. But like all cleansers kind of do the same thing. So you don't want to be trying to get a really harsh one. Like, oh, anti-acne with salicylic acid. Gets rid of, because guess what? That's just going to dry your skin out. That's not good. I've tried this one where it was with Neutrogena. It was like grapefruit. And I even did like in a haul once. I showed you guys. And it was to get rid of my acne. And the thing was that it dried up my skin so much. I used to do this. And my skin used to just come down like... Like, imagine that. Like, that looks so disgusting. Like, I'm surprised someone even wanted to talk to me. So, use a cleanser, any type. Don't, and if it's just drying your skin, stop, okay? Number two, that's only, I have really oily skin. And the people in the comments, like, whoever's watching this, most likely you have oily skin too. That's why you're getting all these pimples. So, be sure about that. Another thing is while washing your face, be sure to wash on your hairline because that's where a lot of pimples happen. And also on your cheeks, nose, and stuff, okay? You... You have to wash it properly and wash for at least 15 to 30 seconds because that's when the soap is actually effective, okay? You can't just put your face on and then we'll rinse it right off and be like, oh my god, clean. I don't know why I'm not getting, I'm still, I'm still getting pimples. Number three. So this one's pretty basic. You have to drink water and that's because water is literally going to your skin and then your skin needs water, okay? And I get it if you don't drink water. It's not some type of miracle drink that if you drink it, you're somehow going to wake up with like beautiful skin, okay? Okay, this is kind of sad like when I'm saying this, but I'm addicted to water bottles like that's not a joke like every time you if, if we meet and every time you meet me I will most likely have a new water bottle like I've got so many water bottles and the thing is I usually forget them some places so like both of my water bottles that I just got I forgot them at like at these other places which I have to go pick up keep a water bottle 
bottle right next to you drink it throughout the day if you're bored be like okay I'll just drink some water okay I get it if you're not like thirsty but still drink water because over time you're gonna start wanting more and more water it's like sort of like you know when you give someone like candy like in school like when you give them when you're nice to them once and they constantly keep coming back to you and never stopping and you just want to beat them like to pulp but yeah, that's what you want to do to yourself now. Get it? Because you can do it to others, you can't do it to yourself. Number four. Okay. And fourth, stop listening to all these home remedies, all these YouTube stuff. Because they're going to be telling you, oh, you know what? Now I'm going to be using my um, uh, Himalayan salt from the grounds of Tunisia facial foam uh, and this uh, exfoliator. Don't listen to them because that's not good. Because... Everyone is different and your skin is different. So this works for me, it may not work for you, but this is, I'm telling you, whoever I've told this to work for them, it's most likely gonna work for you, but don't do something fancy. What, like, do you think people who had skin, perfect skin over like hundreds of years, they used to, they used all this fancy stuff? No, okay? And a, a big thing is like some places where you live, I notice an environment causes you to have pimples. I don't know why. Apparently I'm not in Toronto, I'm in this different city. And I've been getting more and more pimples here and I think that's because of the environment. Number five. Okay, so number five. So this is one really helped me a lot was change your bed sheets, okay? Change your bed sheets, change your pillowcase. Because a lot of times what happens is that your pillowcase has a lot of like the dead skin, oils, everything. So even if you wash your face, it's still on your pillow. And the moment you put your pillow, you put your face there for like how many hours? Like, I don't know, some people sleep for 12, some people sleep for eight, some people sleep for one, okay? Doesn't matter. All that's going back into your skin, all the bacteria, everything. So what I like to do is I like to wash my, um sheets uh, at least once a, w uh, once a week or maybe once every two weeks that's that's always good that's always a good thing you can do because guess what nobody like nobody wants to get in your crusty bed like I don't even know why people are getting to own crusty bed because why did you let it get to that point where it's become crusty dusty musty and like it smells like wh what and people are like I don't know why I'm getting pimples number six okay so this one's pretty optional like okay it's kind of what optional, but you have to look at your diet if you're like, although like, um, this will not generally, I don't know, like, I'm not a scientist, but this won't generally affect for me, my pimples and stuff, but this does make healthier skin. So eat a lot, well, you just incorporate like a few fruits and vegetables in your diet. You don't have to just go on a full on vegan like lifestyle. Just incorporate a few vegetables if you're not eating enough vegetables already or fruits, you know, do what's good for you because there's a lot of vitamins and everything for your skin. Okay, yeah, so be sure to try this out. Hope it works for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share. I don't know. Do something with this video. Don't watch it at all. If you have. So be sure to subscribe and bye.